Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Kerry Anderson. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about back or neck pain medication. What can over-the-counters do for you? So if you like the video related to my health, my way, I would like to request you all. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. When you are looking for some immediate back or neck pain relief, your healthcare provider will likely suggest taking an over-the-counter pain medication. But there are several types and the trick is knowing which to choose and why. First, let's talk about what is meant by types of over-the-counter pain medication. These are distinguished by the active ingredient, which is a chemical substance that makes the changes, for example, relief pain, reduce inflammation, that are stated on the drug package labels. Active ingredients can cause side effects too, so this may also play a role in your decision to take one medication over another. As you will see, active ingredients can be grouped together into drug classes. As far as over-the-counter pain drugs go, the two main classes are NSAID, that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, and analgesic pain relievers. Sometimes a drug will serve both purposes, other times it will not. All but one of the drug described here are over-the-counter NSAID, which can reduce pain, fever, and inflammation, COX-2 inhibitors, Another kind of NSAID may also be helpful in treating your symptoms, but these drugs are available by prescription only. Most drugs come with a long list of side effects, and NSAID are no different. Some NSAID side effects can be very dangerous to your health. Two of the biggest risks of taking these type of drugs are renal problem, as well as heart attack and stomach ulcer. And finally, the drugs discussed below are available as a prescription in higher doses. Now, aspirin. Aspirin is perhaps the oldest anti-inflammatory medication known to humanity. Acetylsalicylic acid, the active ingredient in aspirin, has been used as a pain reliever for centuries, if not millennia, in various forms. As in NSAID, aspirin not only reduces back or neck pain, it plays a role in controlling inflammation, which may be helpful following an injury or trauma. The active ingredient in aspirin does it work by holding back the production of prostaglandins, which are short-lived chemicals in the body responsible for inflammation as well as pain. Although rare aspirin can have serious side effects, not the least of which are stomach problem, but unlike other NSAID aspirin when used correctly, may improve cardiovascular health. Speak to your healthcare provider about this if you would like to know more. Because of that, many experts believe that all the NSAID aspirin is the best choice, the People Pharmacy, which is both an informative website and talk radio show aired on National Public Radio, puts forth this statement. If we were vanished to a desert island and could only take one pain reliever, we would choose aspirin. The reason they say is that along with relieving pain and reducing inflammation, aspirin help reduce the risk of cardiovascular events such as heart attack or stroke. And the People Pharmacy says evidence suggests that aspirin may count for anti-cancer benefits as well. Now, I would be talking about Brufin. It's an anti-inflammatory drug that some people take to reduce acute pain, tenderness, swelling, and stiffness due to arthritis. Brufin is also used to alleviate muscle ache and calm pain due to back strain. Brand name include Motrin, Advil, and Niprin. Like aspirin, Brufin is an NSAID, which means 
it is not only reduces back or neck pain but plays a role in containing the process of inflammation itself anti inflammatory drugs with brufen as their active ingredient inhibit the production of prostaglandins and therefore inflammation and pain side effect may include stomach problem and cardiovascular events so that's all about the medication in this video i hope you all liked it i'll definitely come in the next video with my another content till then god bless you bye bye and take care